what's up ESO it's your boy formerly known as Force Story I'm gonna start going with my PSN name for my little ESO videos right now Big Julian aka Gustav aka Geo Dragon whatever anyways I'm gonna bring you guys a video today real short I'm gonna keep it real short and crisp very informative yes so contrary belief um I had questions about this I was very curious a lot of people was curious about it and <laughs> I'll keep getting the invite swims um Everyone was asking about it. I was asking about it. We all got the same answer. Shields and ESO. How do shields work in ESO? Do they stack? Are they strong? How do you use them? Resistance versus wards. All those questions I had before, everyone's giving me, you know, the same answer. Shields don't stack. Shields don't stack. Shields suck. Don't use shields. They're, you know, everyone knows the shields and heals are nerfed by 50% in PvP areas, which is in Cyrodiil. So, shields don't stack. So people haven't been using them. Well, came to test that theory out today and we are going to debunk this myth okay so long story short if you guys don't want to stay and watch the, oh my goodness this move's about to fucking kill all these people about to mess up my video need those guys all right anyways shields do stack in ESO yes you people probably told you they don't um they're wrong shields do stack in ESO now here's some stats about the game let's um, go over these okay so you have different types of mitigation you have resistance you have shields okay you have spell resistance and physical resistance those two are both resistance but they are however different one uh, affects spell damage the other affects physical damage physical damage physical resistance protects against physical damage spell resistance protects against spell damage uh, spell damage includes, you know, spell versus, you know, magicka, frost, fire damage. Physical is going to be physical and poison. Now, that resistance is going to negate some of the damage you take from those attacks unless they have penetration, which means if you have 5,000 spell resistance, they have 4,000 spell penetration, they're, you're only going to be resistant of 1,000%, I mean, 1,000 points of their spell damage because they have 4,000 penetration, which is going to ignore or subtract from your spell resistance. Now the ways around that is through um, irresistible armor and stuff like that, but there are certain moves like uh, Dragon Knight's ultimate ability, what is it, um, corrosive armor I believe, you ignore 100% of the person's physical resistance, so yeah, that's how resistance works. Now there's different types of ways you can buff your resistance, wards um, and resistance, you have major and minor, major, big, minor, small, very elementary, you have resolve, which is going to be physical. Ward is going to be spell. Major resolve, major ward, like this ability right here gives me, is a big resistance boost to both spell and physical. You also have some moves that give you minor, which gives you small amount, okay? Now, major and major do not stack, okay? If I use a move that gives me major resolve or a major ward, if I use another major resolve and major ward, they will not stack together. If I use a minor and a minor, they will not stack together major and minor do stack together okay if i use this move right here and then hit somebody with this these two will stack together as i will show you here shortly shields also stack together shields on this game are not based off of stamina or magicka they are all solely based off of hp um 90 of the shields in this game are going to be a percentage of your hp unless they're point like this one okay this one's a uh, point base and then you get 100 percent more of that is you know as the caster so Instead of 20, 55, I begin, you know, 4,100. So, um, let's see. Since that guy killed this guy, I want to get my ultimate up. <sighs> Come on. This is not going to be a lot. I want to make this video really quick. Find somebody else. All right, so, got my ultimate up. Now, you see my health bar at the bottom? Let this guy hit me. Now, you see that red? Now, watch the tent, okay? See how it went purple or got that veil over it? That's a shield, okay? That's what shields are going to look like on your health bar. Um, and whenever they damage you, that veil will start to draw back and more of your red, bright red health right there in this place will be exposed. So, however much of that your health bar is covered up by the shield, that's the percentage that's being shielded, okay? Let's look at some other moves. Ignis shield. You see the little, the little, the veil down there on the edges? It's like a quarter of my health that is, you know, protecting me from, okay? Look at this one. See? It's a tiny amount. Now, you saw that right there, how it was bigger at first? 
shields do stack. Watch this. Igneous shield. Now watch me make them get bigger. Look. You see? The small part bars of my red got it shrunk in more. That's because I had more of my health shielded. Because the shields do, in fact, stack. You can stack Ferocious Leap on top of Igneous Shield and Hardened Armor. And boom, you got a really, really big shield. And it's going to negate most of the... This is going to negate all the damage. Shields negate 100% of the damage. It's not like... Well, there's some moves that, you know, can break shields quicker and whatnot. But it's not resistance. Resistance is going to soften it. Shields negate it. Okay, they have to break the shield before they can get to you. This is spell, this is physical, this is everything. Shields block, they stop all damage to you 100%. They just basically shield your health off. So in order to get, get to your health bar, start burning that down, they have to break that shield first. Now, let's look at some resolves. Let's look to this world off real quick. And that's the, that's to bust that myth that shields don't stack in ESO. No, shields do stack in ESO. Now, you see my spell resistance? 15,758. Physical resistance, 14K, 518. All right, so let's look at something real quick. When I pop this right here, it gives me a shield, but also gives me major ward and major resolve. Look at my spell resistance, 20,718. Physical resistance, 19,478. Now, I want to show you guys something. Major and minor, they do stack. Let me let to that world off real quick. All right, so look at my physical 14 and a half K. All right, so let me hit this. Boom, the animation my person gets hardened like a little rock. A little, he's in hard mud. Okay, so 15 K, 758. That's what minor, um, minor resolve on, okay. So I'm gonna let that wear off real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys how it is when it stacks. Okay, I'm gonna lead this person up. All right, so it's back down to 14K and a half. Now, when I use this, Hardened Warp, 19K. Now watch out when I add this on it. 20K, physical resistance up to 20,718. Now watch, they're gonna stagger when they wear off. You're gonna see the major versus minor wear off. The minor should wear off first, I believe that one's shorter my physical resistance to go back down to 19k and okay 15k 700 the major war off now the minor is going to wear off and then you're going to see boom down to 14k so major and minor wards and resistances they they do stack if you get um let me show you guys one more all right so hardened armor as physical resistance or spell resistance. Um, I want to talk about the numbers on these real quick because some people are considering these a shield and they were talking about the Bastion ability in the champion tree was useless. This only applies to shields, damage absorbing effects. This does not apply to resistances. So the only way that these will go up, your resistances, they go up by tier, okay? At 160, I want to say it's like just over 5K. My dude has 126 champion points right now, so he's at the 120 tier, or it's equivalent to a VET 12. So right now, it's currently 4960 is what major resistance boosts or major resolve and major war will give me. Not sure what the cap is for minor, but that's the cap at VET V12. Used to be V12, but now 120 tier is for this. At 160, I want to say it's like 5,000 or something. It's like, I don't know if it's 5,200 or 5,600. But anyways, that's pretty much what the cap is there. There's no nothing you can do to boost that number. That stat is going to scale with the your tier, which right now it's 160 is the max that you can get as far as the gear and stuff like that. So that's the only way to increase those. Shields, however, can be increased via the champion points in Bastion. Okay, so let's look at some of these real quick. This will be the last thing I'll show you guys real quick. We'll keep this nice, quick, and crisp. Alright, so 2,055. That's the damage absorber on that one. Oh, and that's a shield. This shield right here uh, shields me for 10% of my max health. And Ferocious Leap, 103% of my max health. Now, let's see what happens when I go into the Bastion. And this is going to, I'm going to put all the points in there. I got a lot, so so we'll cap at 100. I'm gonna put it just over 40. All right, so 13.6% increase in all shielding abilities. 
let's see what those numbers are now 2526 okay so that's almost a 500 point increase there heart and shield an additional one percent ten percent of my max health now eleven percent this was 103 before is now 117 so bastion does help on these shields and these shields can do a great job in you know mitigating damage and just canceling out damage and negative effects in pvp and even pve it helps you stay up longer if you use them effectively you can last long enough to kill your opponent and get your hits off um shields they can stack wards resistance spell and physical resistance are not shields those are not to be getting confused with them they will not stack with um major and major does not stack minor and minor does not stack you can stack major and minor together and yes you can stack all of the resistances with shields major and minor wards can stack with shields so you can mitigate damage completely by knowing how to stack your shields and your wards and your resistances but first you got to know what's what all right people i hope that uh, helped you guys out hope this was very short and informative for you guys if this helps you all at all hit that like button below leave a comment subscribe um and yes shields do stack thanks for watching and supporting the video um until next time